na imbag nga Domingo to'y amin kakabsat, iti libro iti Salmo, kunana, da ito'y nga daw ti inarami ti Diyos, agregsak ka nagrambak tayo. Psalm 118 verse 24, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us celebrate what Jesus Christ has done for each and every one of us. Brothers and sisters, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for this wonderful and beautiful day that you have given us. We praise and thank you for the blessings you have showered unto us, O Lord. You are our Almighty God, our great and awesome God. We thank you for your love and your great plan of salvation that in Jesus' life, death and resurrection, we have seen your love, your wonderful love, O God, your mercy, your justice, provision in victory, O God. Yes, Jesus, as we gathered here on our online service, we thank you for your blessings. Uh, help us to remain to be steadfast in our faith that in the end we will be victorious through your mercy and your power over evil, O God. Yes, uh, in times of crisis, O Lord, sometimes we are burdened, but uh, we truly believe that you are uh, faithful with your promise to uh, protect your children from any work of the enemy, O God. So nga, Apo Diyos, anda nga agyaman kami manan, kat itinaituy nga gundaway, O God, kat sika ka diti makiada ka da kami. We ask your special presence in every household that will be attending this morning uh, service, O God. Although I want the physical nga appearance me in your house of prayer, but we we know, O Lord, that uh, you are in our midst, O God. So nga ama, uh, amin nga aramidon mi, anda nga itagay mi, sikati uh, makianda ka na kami, iti na ito yung aservisyo mi, kat anda nga sikati may tantanok, sikati may dahaya ang ugat. Na ito itinawat mi, baban ka nga po itinagan ni Jesus. Amen.
reading for today can be found on Matthew 28 verses 1 to 10. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. For I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, he is risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay, then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead and is going of you into Galilee. There you will see him, now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The word of the Lord. Let us praise God with this song, because we believe that the Lord, our Redeemer, lives.
Yes, Lord, the song says that your name is beautiful, is wonderful and powerful. And we believe, O oh Lord, that there is no other greater name than your name. So we worship you and we hold unto your name. You were the word at the beginning. Manakabalin kung managayat nga Diyos, iti da iti nga aldaw at iti apo Diyos nga itagay mi tinagan mo. Gapo ta sika iti Diyos nga manakabalin kan kang runaan apo nga raaman mi. Iti da iti nga gundaway, umay kami ken ka, italok mi apo, ti biyag mi ken ka. Tapno apo Diyos, uh, sika iti uh, adakuma nga pangi. Kamangan mi, pagdipindaran mi, kan kasamat apo Diyos nga mangidalan ka na kami. Dawatan mi apo Diyos iti uh, uh, nailangitan, nga laing, nga ipaay mo iti tunggal maysa. Tapno iti kasta apo Diyos, kat dagiti aramidan mi, kat dagiti makaayayo ken ka. Apo ikamang mi, dagiti uh, uh, pamilya, iti tunggal maysa ka na kami. Sa pala ka di apo Diyos, ta iti panarabay mo, kat adanga ka na yun, panang alad mo. Uh, manipod iti da ito'y uh, virus uh, kaya uh, iso iti uh, maipaay kadag iti amin nga uh, pampamilya 
uh, kang runaan iti iglesia kat italak mi apo Dios sa uh, uray dagiti uh, kakabsat nga naawanan iti trabaho gapo iti effect na daytoy nga pandemic sa pela ka di apo ta uh, daytoy kat uh, uh, haan nga iso iti mangted iti Dagsan la unay no dikat apo daytoy nga gundaway ad adapay iti panagtalek da ko makin ka. So nga bendisyon nam apo Dios iti pammati da tapno uh, haan da nga maupay wano saan da nga uh, kumapoy gapo iti daytoy nga pasamak no dikat apo Dios ad talek da lagta iti karim nga sika iti mangi provide iti kasapulan da. Kat apo uray pay dagiti araramatem nga Uh, frontliners, uh, dagiti health workers, dagiti amin nga policemen, barangay officials, uh, municipal officials, provincial officials, ganda dumapay apo Dios. Dawaton mi iti uh, ipaay mo nga uh, uh, nailangitan nga laing kadakwada. Tapno apo Dios iti panangaramid da, kadagiti na italuk nga aramidan da. Kat ada apo Dios nga sika iti uh, mapadayawan. Gan aladam ida apo Dios manipod iti daytoy nga Uh, sakit, kat ipaay mo apo, iti bilog, iti na fisikalan kadakwada, iti inal daw. Masamat apo Diyos, uh, sika iti uh, uh, pangitalkan mi, kadag iti uh, kakabsat, nuadaman apo, dag iti mabutbutang kan madandanagan. Gapo iti da ito'y uh, nga COVID-19, Lord, kas in bagam, iti sa om, nga saan kami nga agbutang, saan kami nga agdanag, taadda ka apo nga mangipaay kadag iti kasapulan mi gan adda ka apo nga mangipaay iti bilag mi gan adda ka apo Dios nga mangsabot kadag iti amin apo nga kasapulan dag iti anak mo ket agyaman kami apo Dios ta iti daiti nga aldaw mabalinda ka nga dayawen nga saan kami nga malapdan gapo iti daytoy nga pasama ket madaydayaw ka gapo ta amin dagitoy ket dinawat mi iti naga na Hesus amen A blessed Resurrection Sunday, brothers and sisters. We are still on our Enhanced Christian Quotient series. And this morning, I would like to talk about hope. And I've entitled this sermon, Cling to the Living Hope, Christ's Resurrection. I would like to ask each and every one of us, Do you think you are living with hope? Which leads me to the question, Are you clinging to to the living hope. While we are still undergoing a worldwide battle against this coronavirus, do you still have hope that this will come to pass and be finished and won over by the global community? Hope or pag-asa in Tagalog. Naranasan mo na bang nawalan ng pag-asa o napaasa lang? Hashtag, buti pa si Lord, totoong pag-asa. Di gaya ng iba dyan, nagpapaasa lang. Kay Lord, may living hope. Hindi gaya sa ating mga tao, maraming false hopes. T. Watson once said, Hope is an active grace. It is called a lively hope. Hope is like the spring in a watch. It sets all the wheels of the soul in motion. Hope of a crop makes the farmer sow his seed. Hope of a victory makes the soldier fight. And a true hope of glory makes a Christian vigorously pursue glory. Here is a spiritual touchstone to try our hope by. Cling to the living hope that is found in our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hope refers to the object that leads to a desire or a promise. Our living hope includes the benefit and results of our unwavering faith in Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior, eternal life, eternal rewards, and the promised resurrection directed heavenward, yielding to eternal fellowship with God forever. Kay Lord lang ang may forever. As an action word, the word cling means to adhere as glued firmly or to hold on tightly or tenaciously. I would like to refer to the meaning of the word clinging, to holding on tenaciously, to not giving up easily. 
So as the title of my sermon implies, we cling to the living hope, Christ's resurrection. We do not easily give up on our resolve of our faith. Hindi tayo nawawala sa ating landas ng pananampalataya at pananalig sa muling pagkabuhay ni Heso Kristo. The resurrection of Christ yielding to our belief of the resurrection of the dead, especially when confronted with the most challenging experiences, most critical moments, most thought-provoking questions that leads us to doubt our faith, and most dreaded happening, death. Our bedrock of faith, the very foundation of our hope as Christians, is God. The psalmist claimed, Blessed are those whose hope is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God, as read in Psalm 146 verse 5. We hope in the truth that God raised Jesus from the dead to offer us freedom from the bondage and slavery of sin and to spare us from eternal damnation and eternal separation with God. The Apostle Paul added, To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Read in Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. This shed light to our hope of the resurrection. Christ's resurrection proved His deity, yung pagiging Diyos niya, kahit siya ay tao. His being very God and very man. Thus, where our faith is also affirmed in Christ as one in the triune God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, the object of our living hope as believers. Our living hope is also grounded in God's Word. Psalm 135 verse 5 says, I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in His Word I put my hope. In 1 Corinthians 15 verse 12 to 14, Paul clearly argued about our living hope, Christ's resurrection. If it is preached that Christ has been raised from the dead, how can some of you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless and so is your faith. If we don't believe in Christ's resurrection, then we are but similar with the Sadducees who doubted the prospect of resurrection during Jesus' time. We become sad, you see. As followers of Christ, we're not immune from struggling with whether or not Jesus' resurrection occurred. Some doubters describe Jesus' resurrection as a hoax or sinasabing fake yung muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus. Or a fabrication by the disciples. Sinasabi nila, gawa-gawa lang na kwento ng mga tagasunod ni Kristo. The question of the truth of Jesus' resurrection still troubles people of today. Marami pa rin mga tao ang nagdududa sa muling pagkabuhay ni Kristo. Despite the centrality of it to the biblical account of Jesus and the disciples. Kahit na nakalahat sa salita ng Diyos ang muling pagkabuhay ni Kristo, sila pa rin ay hindi lubos na naniniwala. In order to understand the reasonableness of what Scripture says about Christ's resurrection, we need to keep in mind that historical studies can only determine what occurred. Beyond reasonable doubt, in the case of Christ's resurrection, the historical evidence is impressive. Ang daming mga libro ang nasulat and dedicated to in-depth study of it. In fact, a good spiritual discipline would be to read one or more books about it. And as we do, let us cling to the living hope that is found in our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The word resurrection is defined as the act of rising from the dead. Today, we are celebrating the Resurrection Sunday or as other traditions would call it, Easter Sunday. Christ's resurrection after being buried in the tomb for three days. A reminder of the reality of the afterlife and the tangible importance of Christian life in the present.
Jesus' resurrection is the culmination of all meaningful things, faith and fact, in establishing a relationship with God. God used the timing which occurred just after Passover and during the Feast of Unleavened Bread to illustrate the ultimate sacrifice He made for sinners. Without this sacrifice, Christianity would be an empty religion. Every purpose of Jesus Christ, His atonement for sin, would be unfulfilled and the foundation of Christianity would fall apart. This Passover commemorates God's passing over the Hebrews' homes by the angel of death. Ito ay mababasa sa Exodus chapter 12. By accepting Jesus, we are promised eternal life. And we are saved from spiritual death. The Feast of Unleavened Bread begins with unleavened bread made without yeast and sacrificing an unblemished sacrificial lamb. Leavening represents the escape from bondage and sin. Jesus is called the Lamb of God through whom the only escape is possible. Only to the risen Lord and Savior Jesus Christ na totoong makakamit natin ang total freedom. Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection are God's provision for the perfect and final sacrifice for man's sins. God requires no other payment for sins. With this provision, mankind is granted opportunity for new life by the forgiveness of sin and escape from its bondage. This happens when we cling to our living hope found in our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Luke 24, verses 46 to 48, the risen Jesus gave His disciples a greater understanding of the resurrection when He told them, This is what is written, The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in His name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem, you are witnesses of these things. In the Old Testament, life after death is implied. Sometimes people were even revived from death. We could read that in 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 22, 2 Kings 4, 35, and chapter 13, verse 21. These are just but examples. However, their bodies remained unchanged in the sense that they would die again. The resurrection of the dead is predicted in Daniel chapter 12 verse 2 and some interpreters think that Jesus resurrection is a is foreshadow is a foreshadow in the Old Testament ibig sabihin ang muling pagkabuhay ni Kristo ay nabigyang hudyat sa lumang tipan ng Biblia In the New Testament resurrection becomes the central to biblical revelation that leads us to have a living hope Christ's resurrection serves as the basis of our faith and of our justification. We could read that in Romans chapter 4, verse 25 and chapter 8, verse 34. Christ's resurrection is the basis of people's hope in resurrection from the dead, justification, and eternal life. Being alive in Jesus is linked to the concept of resurrection. Tayo mababasa natin Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1, verses 4 to 6. Through Christ's resurrection, we cross from death to life, also read in John 5, 24-26, and continue to live in the ongoing power of the risen Christ. That is why we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. This is the key event in the New Testament where it is proclaimed throughout. This is also written in all four Gospels report, reporting the miraculous event. In Matthew 28, verse 6, the angel declared, He is risen. He is not here. Mark 16, 6 reports, Don't be alarmed. The angel said, You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Cling to the living hope that is only found in our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The resurrection of Christ conquered death once and for all. 
Jesus firmly believed and proclaimed the reality of resurrection. His crucifixion, he indeed as after his crucifixion, he indeed resurrected. Mababasa natin yan in Matthew 28 verses 1 to 2, Mark 12 18 to 27, Luke 24 verses 1 to 3 and in John 20 verses 1 and 2. His resurrection was announced by the angels and afterward Jesus appeared to many people, kay Mary Magdalene, two men on the Emmaus road, and eventually to the disciples and to more than 500 people. Jesus also appeared at a later time to the apostle Paul and James. At first, the disciples were reluctant to believe in Jesus' resurrection. Jesus foretold of his resurrection to the disciples in John 16. Then to one of the doubting witnesses, Thomas, he says the following in John 20 verse 29, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. However, Jesus appeared to them in his resurrected body, talked with them and ate with them and eventually got convinced. Jesus later ascended to heaven, further convincing the disciples of all that he said and did. He was indeed the Son of God. And as followers of Jesus of today, we must cling to the living hope that is found in our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ's resurrection confirmed the power of God and God's Holy Spirit in the life of Jesus. That is why our living hope does not lead us in reckless waiting, rather in active and dynamic growth in our faith walk with God. Although we already enter into the reality of eternal life in the present, when we establish an intimate and genuine relationship with Jesus, our living hope includes the resurrection promised to us by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Christ's second coming becomes also an object of our living hope that leads us to the assurance of our resurrection heavenward, accomplished through Christ's resurrection. There are times that uh, I say to some friends I meet along the journey called life, whenever I think there's a slim chance of crossing paths again with fellow believers in Christ, I say, if we will not meet anywhere in the world, then may we meet in heaven, pointing upward. Or sometimes, I, I would say, if you'll not meet here, then there. We can say this confidently when we cling to the living hope that is found in our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ's resurrection confirmed the truthfulness of what Jesus said about God, people, sin, and the way of salvation. Scripture says that all people will someday resurrect and be judged, both the righteous and the unrighteous. Because of God's provision for salvation, believers like us will resurrect to eternal life. We don't need to fear condemnation or eternal damnation. Instead, we cling to the living hope that is found in our risen Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that teaches us to live eternally in a tangible and physical way, and not just in an intangible spiritual way. Ang buhay nating mananampalataya ay nararamdaman din sa mundong ito dahil sa buhay na, pag, buhay na pag-asa na mahahanapan sa muling pagkabuhay ni Kristo. This leads us to explain why we respond to disasters, calamities, and crises such as this pandemic through compassionate ministries, by sharing resources, giving generously, sacrificing for the sake of others, preparing food packs, medical supplies, and the likes, so that we can give and share to those who are currently in need of aid and who are greatly affected. These good works are the result of our faith in the living hope that is found in our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our belief in the resurrection emphasizes the holistic dimensions of people's salvation, not only our entrance and confidence to the eternal bliss in the afterlife, but also in our present living here on earth. What freedoms can we live out, knowing that our future is secure because of Christ's resurrection? 
we share the living hope we have found in our risen Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by being the physical ambassadors of Christ to those who are in dire need of physical and spiritual help, especially in times like this. As we are undergoing global crisis brought about by the pandemic coronavirus, Jesus' resurrection wasn't merely spiritual. It, is included, it included his entire body. When the resurrected Jesus appeared to the disciples and other followers, he was visible, tangible, and ate with them. So as Christians, we have the living hope of being resurrected in a way that is new and improved, freeing us from the present limitations of death and dying. We are hoping to resurrect to have that glorious body that God promised to us by faith. My prayer and hope to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. As Christians, we encounter a multitude of difficulties, troubles, and distresses in our journey through this world. The living hope and promise of God carry us through various trying times. Primarily, we embrace the hope of eternal life and the resurrection of our bodies because of Christ's resurrection. God fortifies us to face physical death with courage, hope, and confidence. As fellow Christian pilgrims here on earth, we confront the harsh realities of life, such as a serious illness or the death of a family member or a close friend. Well, if you could imagine a beloved family member dying, because of this infection caused by the coronavirus. They die alone, no formalities, rather straight to cremation or burial. The agony of not having a wake for the loved one. Or the disturbance in the normal routine in life and economy, like this imbalance caused by the dreaded COVID-19 around the globe. Or trials, travails, and troubles and afflictions in life caused by the injustices of this world. As people go through such, we encourage and comfort them, reminding them of our mutual hope of eternal life and the resurrection of our mortal bodies, and by encouraging them to cling to the living hope that is found in our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us place our wholehearted hope in the living God, who enables us to endure all kinds of hardships and adversities. Be encouraged with what Paul wrote found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3. We remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, people can be saved and live eternally with God in heaven. Acceptance of Jesus Christ's resurrection has eternal significance. Just as Jesus resurrected, we too may resurrect and enjoy eternal life with God in heaven. Cling to the living hope that is found in our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As an anchor thrown to the bottom of the sea holds the ship fast amid storms and tempests, so the Christian's living hope penetrates the waves of this troublesome world and reaches the eternal shore, holding fast his soul amidst the waves of sin. Cling to the living hope that is found in our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May you find peace, assurance, and comfort as you cling to the living hope, Christ's resurrection. Amen. Shalom. A Blessed Resurrection Sunday.
has come And now, as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Father, thank you for your great love that you have lavished upon us. By sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross because of our sins, he was buried, and after three days, he resurrected. Because of this, you have given us freedom from the bondage and slavery of sin, and that we have a living hope found only in our risen Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for this living hope. Bless us as we face another week and as we would serve you daily, remembering what you have done for us because of your great love. And thank you, Jesus, for giving your life for us. This is what we desire and pray to give greater glory and honor to your precious mighty name, Lord Jesus. And this is also what we pray and ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace to you from Him who is, and who was, and who is to come, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to Him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by His blood, and has made us to be a kingdom and priests, to serve His God and Father, to Him be glory and power forever and ever. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. A blessed Resurrection Sunday.